you must defend and uphold the Constitution on the oath that you took. Don't be intimidated by anybody. Don't act in fear. Don't fear to act in accordance with the Constitution. That is what I advise you. Na wale ndugu zangu wenye wanaongoza vyama you cannot be preaching democracy to the masses and oppression in your parties because democracy must be everywhere Na sisi huko kwetu tunasema kama hukuli nyama ya ngombe huwezi kunywa supu ya nyama ya ngombe You cannot preach water and drink whiskey If you preach water drink water. Kwa hivyo this draconian behavior tunawaomba tupunguze. Kabisa kabisa kwa sababu if it is good for the party leader of a certain party to go to Mombasa and sit with president Ruto and talk about Kenya, it must be equally good for Nyamita to go and see the president and talk about Uriri. What is good for the goods is good for the Ganda. Kwa hivyo mimi naomba tu wewe ulichaguliwa kuongoza watu ya urithi. Wewe wakilisha wao fungua kila mlango. Kama ni kufika kwa president ndio pate hospitali mzuri, enda. Kama kufika kwa Omolo ndio pate OCS mzuri, enda. Kama kufika kwa Suza ndio pate kitu mzuri, enda. Don't be inhibited, don't be curtailed, and don't be sold any fear. Any repeat what take? Nika saidi wa raka raka sasa mimi ni speaker wa Kenya. Na mambo ina kwa kaivyo. Sometimes when you oppress people, you help them to move even further. Kwa hivyo leo nataka kuomba. To shirikiane, to jenge injietu, we have no spare. We need to take the government program seriously so that we benefit like everybody else. And the government of William Ruto is working for every Kenyan without any discrimination. So if anyone is telling you not to participate in the government programs, you need to tell them that that is not how to build a cohesive country. The chairman anyway is on record having declared interest in the seat of Karoli. So when he sits to to judge him, I mean, what really do you expect? Let us be fair. You see, we are being expelled from ODM just for doing our work. There is only one president in the Republic of Kenya. We didn't vote for him, but he has been declared so by all constitutional organs in the country. There is nothing we can do about it. It is what it is. Now, we have to deal with that reality. We are being told that it is wrong to meet that president. Yet, all our MPs, yes, the, the other day you saw Mweshimiwa Memusi Kanchori from Kajiado met the president in State House. He has not been expelled. We saw Abdul Wasamad, governor of Mombasa, and MPs of Mombasa meet the president. We saw Governor Oduoma of Busia, with all the MPs, meet the president. They've not been expelled. Why us? Why us? Why only Luos? Makosagani to Mefanya. And let me say this. There is something unique. Whenever you are expelled or harassed or hounded out of ODM, your political career goes up. And I'll give you examples. I'll give you examples because I've been in ODM since day one. I'm the one who distributed the life membership numbers. When we kicked out Mvuria from Kwale, he retained his seat as governor, today is a minister. When we kicked Aisha Jumwa, today she is a, she's a minister. When we kicked out William Ruto, today is the president. Are we together? When we kicked out Mburi Aburi, yule tunaita Raila Wameru, today is the party leader of Nubeu and his MP. Are we together? Ata sisi, I think now we have got this blessing on our head. Sisi ata tutaenda mbele. Are we together? 
Because hakuna makosa nimefanya to go and lobby for super people to get a road. And we must speak the truth. And I must also emphasize here, if we go to court, we are going to win. I am a lawyer, I am telling you this. We are going to win. Let me tell you why. The person who chaired that disciplinary committee called Bernard Sihanya, there's a court order that he is not qualified to be a lecturer in the university and at the same time sit in a political party organ. So there was no tribunal that tried us. Are we together? That is why I'm saying this thing is going to embarrass the party. I'll give you another reason. My accuser is John Mbadi, who then went ahead and sat in the disciplinary committee. How can you accuse somebody and be the judge in your own cause? Sasa sisi wenye tulichapa ODM wakati imefika, tuende kwa mungu, tuambie mungu, tulifanya yetu, tupatie ni asafi, Kenya yendele mbele. Sindio? Yes. Kwa sababu utabeba, ubebe, miakatanu. Hasira bure, hasira asara. Sivo? Unaeza kata maendeleo? Na mbona unapeleka watoto enu university kama mtaki hii serikali? Si hawa ndi wanatoa pesa ya kwanza? Ushawa hii fikiria hivu. Mbona unaomba mwishmua nyamita kupatilia mtoto kazi? Si anaenda kwa hiyo serikali? Basi tuamuki, tutoke kwa hiyo. Kama kweli sisi ni wa kristo tunazumuza ya ukweli wakati umefika, tuseme, tulijaribu, tulifanya, na sasa lazima tufanya kazi na serikali, na serikali ilete maendeleo na hasa kwa sababu wewe pia sasa chama yangu ya ODM wakati mwingine ukifanya kitu mara mingi sio unabadilisha sasa hii ingine hata juzi nimesema nataka kurudia saa ingine tunaingiza baba kwa maneno mingi yenye si yake yeye ni party leader yeye ni kiongozi Kenya si ndio hivi tu fitina ndogo ndogo iko ndani yetu Daniel ODM lazima tukembe <tos> Hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na la milele itakayo mwalimani Kabestia ayema ber kabono wangu ni kirekredi gichu nyiginya sachi machalo gina wangitarisha na wamekubalika na kanisa Thank you.